saw joining tool. It's a uh, mark on the casting, made in USA. I don't have an identifying mark to tell me who made it, but it's a nice little piece of equipment. I picked it up for a couple of bucks. The only thing I see is the file is a bit dull. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file card, which is a new acquisition. I had been cleaning files with uh, many different kinds of devices. And then I ran across a Colton's number 10 file cleaner, steel back frame and face, made in USA. Cleans all types of files sold by distributors, EC Hudson Manufacturing, Chicago, Illinois. 60606. This is what I had in uh, high school in machine shop class. And lo and, and Lord help the poor fool to put away a file without cleaning it in Mr. Stanky's area. He was a very nice teacher, but he also was not afraid to tell you where the bear poop is. Now, if I didn't have the file card, I would still be using the other method of, of the soft metal bar held in the handle. This works quite well. card is a little easier. It also has this little pin in here for removing, which removing things that they call pins. It's material that gets stuck in the teeth of the file. This one doesn't have any, but that little sharp point, you can go in there and scrape each one of the lands and remove any material that's stuck in there. Not sharpening. If you're going through and joining files, they really shouldn't be. Or if you're going through and using this to joint saws, there really shouldn't be any pinning in it. Because saws don't have any material that's soft enough to roll in there and fill up the teeth on the file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the patented old Sneelock vinegar application tool. the tube till it covers the top of the file. Now all I do is close up the vinegar again, set the cap on the patented old Sneelock rust removal system, and then I put the rust removal system back on the shelf where it sits away from all the tools so that any fumes leaking out of the vinegar do not cause rust on the tools. Now I'll put away the file card, and the file cleaning tool. This I don't think I need to do anything to. It's got the original black on it. I might take the wax and wax it up a bit.
one thing that this doesn't have that I just happened to notice is there isn't any way to curve the file. So when you're using this file, when you're using this joiner to join a saw, it has to be a flat filed saw. It can't be a breasted saw. Breasted saws need to have a file that follows the curve so the joiner would have a way to actually bend the file. 